Hello everyone, welcome. You are joining me, Jen's Creative Stampers, on Sunday. This is my very first craft along. I'm super excited. What that means is that there were several people who bought this project kit before tonight and I sent this to them so that they would be ready to craft with me tonight live and make the projects as I make them. So I'm super excited about that. If you did not have a chance or you missed the memo or you didn't get my newsletter, first of all, make sure you're on my newsletter. You can join at jenscreativestampers.com. And um, the other option would be for tonight's class is to get it sent to your house for free. So um, I will show you that class. We're going to do it together. I'm super excited about it. And um, if you would like to take advantage of that, it is a $50 order utilizing the host code that I will send out. And um, you don't have to get this set, but I recommend it. I love it. Um, so it's any item, whatever you want to order, right? $50 will actually get the, the kit sent to you and you'll get two of each of the projects, all of the items to make two of the projects, except I don't die cut from the bundle that we're using. So, um, hope you guys are doing well. Say hi if you're joining me live. Super excited to be here. It's been a busy weekend. It's been an awesome weekend. We had such a fun time. Went up to um, Wendell, North Carolina, which is actually close to Raleigh, and met a lot of new folks. We have a North Carolina demonstrator group, and we get together once a quarter. And um, it kind of changes who's going to host and where it's at within the state, but it's a lot of fun. So if you're looking to get plugged into a fun group and you live in North Carolina, we would love to have you. I would absolutely love to have you on my team. Um, we do a lot of fun things on our team as well, but this is just one of the many perks. So welcome, welcome. Hey, Debbie, great to see you. It was awesome to meet you. And hey, Lynn, I see you're watching me. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so let me go ahead and point you guys down. If you have any questions, just stop me. Hey, Jen, post a message. I've got my phone here, and I will do my best to watch the comments. So here we go. Okay. All right, so what we have here is the Iconic Imagery Bundle. That is this bundle here. As you can see, there's some Valentine's Day, there's some holly berries, some snowflakes, and a lot of um, Christmas trees and some greenery, a candle with the flame. So this could be used all year long. That's one of the reasons that I love it so much. These are the dies that go along with it, and you see you've got these awesome labels, and you've got some greenery, and then the items that I mentioned before, we can actually cut those out as well as these itty bitty cute little hearts and there's little stars. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but it's there, it's fun. I'm also gonna be using this amazing die set. This is the greenery, uh, no it's not. It's called Greetings of the Season. I don't know why I call this greenery, but anyway, there's a sentiment set that goes with this as a bundle. So it's fun too, but we're gonna be using some of the things out of that. Okay, so let's get started. Um, the paper is this you'll actually get a quarter pack of this paper and just to kind of show you sorry i've got the i need to cover that up um these are some of the pages and you can see it covers birthday christmas it has some greenery there's like some wine glasses which is really cute for like an anniversary celebration some acorns for fall some more greenery, some plaid or some stripes. There's for 4th of July, just a lot of different things. So there's some pumpkins, really cute. There's some doves. So we're gonna play with this um, tonight. You can see I've already been cutting it, using it. I love it so much. So, all right, so the very first card, I'm gonna actually show you what we're gonna make and um, get my chamois out here, get ready for that. Um, I will get my place organized. Just coming in hot really from the weekend. Um, been missing my family, but took my son swimming today. So that was fun. And I was like, oh my goodness, I got to hurry up. I got to get back. Let me get a, um, 
a little post-it note to cover up. Oh golly. See, where's that ball? Here it is. I'm gonna cover that up. Hopefully that makes it better. Yay. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna open these up. And the very first card that we are going to make is a really, really fun card. It's popped up on Dimensionals and it features um, these, again, this one is featuring the doves. So for this one that we're gonna make together, I cut it out using these pretty little snowflakes or you could actually use the trees. So I'm just going to get my thick white, this is gonna be my card base, thick white cardstock, and I'm gonna burnish that score mark really good. And then I'm going to take my designer paper and I'm just going to glue it down again, nice and simple to my basic white, right? I'm going to do this one a little bit different than I did the other one. I'm going to grab my trusty um, linen thread. And if you don't have this, get it. Get it on your next order because it's awesome. It goes for any holiday and really it matches practically any card. So whatever your color scheme is, um, it's great for that. So I'm just wrapping it around three times again, just showing you a variation. And I will just give that a quick little tie here. And showing you the different ways that you can go ahead and make fun and easy cards really quickly actually it doesn't have to be hard right okay so there we have that and we're going to take some spread this out a little bit give it some distance there take some dimensionals which it looks like i'm getting low on my table here cut these up I'm just going to pop these up here and again you're going to get two of each of these and you will have that sent right to your house so how fun is that love being able to craft along with you so if you did not get your craft along kit that's okay I will make sure that you get it with your order utilizing the host code that I post after the video okay so never fear i have got you covered so we're going to go ahead and lay this down and it's going to have a quarter of an inch border nice and simple and then we are going to grab i have a bunch of little die cuts here which again you will need the bundle to go ahead and cut your dies your die cutting okay so i'm going to go ahead and get a long label i love this label isn't that cute like how cute that is you can use it for happy birthday small congratulations just really fun I love that so we're gonna use that and we are going to go ahead and get a let me get a block I feel like I'm discombobulated a little bit all my stuff is still in a bag oh Judy you're so sweet <laughs> so good to see you all right so we got that so let me grab my here we go my 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 ink pad i didn't grab my ink pads what did i sorry you guys let's see i've got a hot mess going on here it is sorry that's what happens when you're coming in live right it's like my goodness my goodness just roll with the punches and all is good all right so we've got our stamp pad this is misty moonlight and this is a misty moonlight background so we're just going to stamp joy and then i'm going to use my dimensionals I'm gonna pop this little guy up here and get 
rid of that. I heard that called wax paper this weekend. I didn't know that that was actually wax paper. So, cool. I can roll with that. That's all good. And I'm going to make another bow, actually, because I want this a little bit fuller. So I'm going to leave, this is a kind of a little trick. So I'm going to leave a little bit of a tail here. I don't want it to be a big bow. I'm going to wrap it three times and then two times around two fingers. And then snip that off. All right. And then I'm going to grab it in the middle. Debbie, this might look familiar to you. Grab all those little pieces up in the center. Again, here's my tail, it's longer. Wrap it around and pull it through here. Make sure it's in the middle. Make a little knot. And we have a super, super cute little bow. Isn't that cute? Love it. And then you take your, um, your glue dot. Stick it on the back and then I'm just going to add it right there. So it's just really simple and easy. And then we, of course, have to have some bling. But again, my bling has left the house. Um, not really. <laughs> it's the neutrals adhesive back sequence that I'm using tonight. You can use whichever you would like. Um, so this one is awesome for the holidays. I love it. It has copper. It has, um, well, this is like, yeah, this is bronze and then copper and then silver and gold. So you have all things covered for holiday, which is fabulous. Um, and there's a ton of these. So you can use them and you can use these for a lot of your holiday cards. So recommend that if you don't have any ready yet. And this is card number one. Oops, if I can get in the camera. You see that? And this is my first one that I made. This was with the doves, and you can see this one with the snowflakes. Okay, that was card number one. I'll put these right here. And then card number two is going to be this fun little card. And this one has popped up with the stylish shapes. As you can see, I cut those out. And then I wrapped that one with the linen thread like you saw in the first one. So let's get the elements for that one. This one also uses the um, thick basic white cardstock. And the reason I do that for the base is because it's so much thicker. It's actually the same thickness as our colored cardstock. And... Um, it just makes a difference, right? And the quality of your card, it's really, it's just really nice. So I highly recommend that when you're using white as a card base. So I've already cut my designer paper. As you can see, it has these beautiful leaves on the back for fall. And then the front has this really awesome green stripe. You can go either way. And this one I went up and down. So vertical. And this one I'm going horizontal. So it kind of gives a little bit of a different look. So add that on and then again I am going to I'm going to change it up for you guys just to show you some variants there's a new ribbon that we have and it's just showing you you can use different types of ribbon on your cards your Christmas cards and cards in general this is called a frayed um, grow grain ribbon and it's cool it's white um, it has a little bit more substance to it, but it still ties very easily. Let me check my notes here. Amy, hey, good to see you. Hey, Bev, good to see you. We certainly missed you, Beverly. Um, so what I'm going to do for this one is make it a little bit, um, kind of create almost like a little background with it for these pieces. So I love bows. If you don't love bows, you don't have to tie a bow you could just tie a knot which is I may just do that because I didn't pull enough through but again just showing you different variants here on how to do your cards 
You don't always have to follow my design. We talked about that this weekend. It's like, you know, I'm giving you options. I'm giving you a suggestion. It's not what you have to do. So feel like you can absolutely, as you're crafting along with me, you can do something a little bit different. So that is part of why I wanted to change it up. Okay, so once we have the ribbon, you choose your ribbon that you have or you can use what you got in your kit in the craft along. We've got three of these little labels here, which we will stamp those in real red. These three, we will um, actually layer the Christmas trees, okay? And that, how I get the Christmas trees is I cut this, take the die from your bundle, okay? And there is a piece of designer series paper in your kit. And let me find mine. It's so easy. This is part of what I love about Stampin' Up! is that literally you have all the coordination between the paper, the dies, the bundle in general. So let me go ahead. I'm going to cut these on my die cutting. I haven't pre-cut them out, so I'll just cut them now. Uh, that one got cut off a little bit. Let's do this one. Again, you've got the full sheet in your kit, so you can do that. Let me cut it right over here. You can still see me. Um, since I redid my craft room, I made it so that everything is easy to float back and forth. This is my die cutting table, so makes it easy. All right. Two. And the third. those lined up on there sometimes it'll shift and if it does shift you can use a little bit of just like post-it note or post-it tape whatnot so we have those okay uh, what are you guys doing today what how is your Sunday going I didn't even ask that in the beginning you guys are all doing okay anybody anybody dare to Say. Thank you, Judy. Thank you. Hey, Cassie. Good to see you. Okay, so let me keep going. i um, going to get my real red ink here. And we are going to load up our, we're going to use this little. This is the A block. And I believe we still have this one. You always can tell which block it is by the circle with the letter on the side of your block. So if it's the Stampin' Up! block, you'll always know, and even in the catalog, it tells you which one to use. So that is super convenient. So we're going to load up the word love, and we're just going to stamp that in the middle of our first label. Okay. And then we're going to do piece, same way, load that up. Now be careful with real red, it is one of those colors that can literally go everywhere. I don't know why, but it seems to show up in places that you never thought were possible. So I always clean my stamps right after I use them for that very reason. Okay, and now we're going to load up the word joy. And we're going to stamp in the middle of that one. Checking out my swap cards from yesterday. Yes, Debbie. I actually was thinking about pulling out my swap cards from yesterday because I still haven't even looked at mine yet. It's been go, go, go. And I really am dying to see mine as well. So if you guys like, tell me and I can pull out all my swap cards. I was involved in two formal swaps 
a card to die for or a swap to die for and then a simple stamping and then I did the general swap so I got a lot I think 65 cards or something so super fun um, and I just like I said I'm dying to look at it and I would love to show you guys but if you're busy just say so I still think that would be fun doing it on a live okay so let me cut these up here and all we're gonna do is we're gonna pop up all of your Christmas trees on the dimensionals and we're gonna literally line it up in the middle of each of those stylus shapes okay move that out of the way for now so I just cut my dimensionals in half or I'm using the edge of the dimensional sheet you could just cut yours in half and place it on the back and that's probably big enough all right and then the third one we will do the same way it didn't want to come off all right so literally put that down Amy is relaxing and enjoying the weather before all of the rain gets here. Amen, sister. It's coming, right? That hurricane is just making its way. Ready or not, here we come. That is good. So, now that we've got this all lined up, I can actually move this over a little bit more. It's just kind of because I didn't glue it down right it's, it's still movable I'm gonna kind of move that over there all right so I'm gonna do the center one I always like to lay my card out before I glue anything down and that way I kind of know where I'm headed right and kind of what it's gonna look like so this little guy is gonna have to be snug up against there maybe I'll just do them a little different I'm gonna do them a little different all right, so this one I'm gonna actually glue. You can follow the design on the one that I sent you in your PDF, or you can do it a little bit differently like I am tonight. Uh, again, I'm using a little bit thicker ribbon, so that kind of constitutes why I'm doing it a little bit different. I'm just popping that one up. So, shows the versatility right there's always more than one way to do all of our cards and i want y'all to be able to do that do different things that's so fun yes cassie is on here sounds like cassie had a fun day today too we got home last night probably around I don't know what was it it was almost 10 o'clock I think and um, yeah we were exhausted had a blast but man we were tired okay so I'm just gonna kind of stagger these and on this one I'm only going to pop up the bottom because the top is kind of overlapping on that ribbon okay it's not gonna go anywhere so there's that right it does kind of mess this up where I'm going to love, peace, could put joy right here. What do you guys think I should do? Just leave love and peace? Or should I put joy up here? What do you think? Joy or no joy? Give me your feedback. Let's see. I know there's a delay, so you can let me know that. What do you think? Joy or no joy? In the meantime, I'll be gluing these down. I just love, aren't these the cutest little dies? I love them. It's gonna make great Christmas cards. So fun. There's peace. No joy, no joy. I like it, ladies. Thank you for your feedback. Okay, all right, and then what we're going to do is bring our thick basic white. I've got glue on my fingers. Debbie, what time did you get home tonight or today? I know that you were driving home today instead of last night so you could rest. That was a 
a good decision. Did you get home early or did you kind of have a lackadaisical morning? All right. Oh, contact paper doesn't want to come off. About noon. Cool. Awesome. That is nice. That makes for an easy morning, right? So as you can tell, this one has a little bit more of a border all the way around. So when you lay it down, you want to make sure that you have the same distance around the top, the sides, and the bottom. Okay. And then for this one, I think we can use a different, maybe this, um, what do you think? This real pretty bronze. I think that's gorgeous. Just use my scissors. And then I'll go down here. And then I'm going to take the these small little silver ones and I'm going to make those as like the tops of the little Christmas trees like a little kind of shining star up there it's not cute and that is our card is that fun yeah Cassie it's <laughs> so true we had torrential downpours yesterday last night on the way home so here's a variance different ver different you know kind of style of presenting your card so you've got multiple options here but that is card number two. All right. Now, let's do card number three. And for those of you who don't know, this card kit or this crafting kit has more than just cards. So it's a lot of fun. We're changing things up a little bit. Um, the third one is this really fun, look at that plaid, isn't that gorgeous? Celebrate the season, and the celebrate is in um, really pretty cherry cobbler. I love it for Christmas, and it features these little um, cherry cobbler kind of greenery, greenery, yeah, like the berries in the um, in the cherry cobbler. So I have everything for that except for the little red berries. So I will pull the red out. And we've got this here. Um, so we'll use that. Let me pull these really quickly from my die set. I store my dies on these magnetic sheets. They're like, they're very thick, kind of like cardboard or like, I don't know what it is. But it's really like hard. And so it keeps everything organized. Let me, me die cut these for you. And they're small, but I think they add something that's very special to the card. It's the little details, right, that make things so awesome. So here we go. Those just die cut right out. And then I'm just going to punch these out here. All right, there's like a little hole in the back. You just push them through. So they don't come out automatically. Okay, so we've got those. And we're going to take our cherry cobbler. And we're going to also take our mossy meadow. And we're going to stamp these two pieces here. So let me grab those. Cherry cobbler and... What did I say? Mossy meadow. Yeah, here we go. So we have both of these. I love this red for Christmas. Do you guys like that red or do you prefer real red? Which is your favorite? While you're answering me, I will be stamping this. So getting the celebrate and the season out here. Loading this up. Hey Donna, good to see you. Good to see you. So here is the celebrate, and here on the opposite side is the season. So I've got them both together. Do you guys prefer a cherry cobbler or a real red? Cobbler for sure, yes. 
I love the cobbler as well, Cassie. It's really pretty. It's like a deep red. You'll see here, it's just gorgeous when you stamp it. And I always give it a minute before I pull my stamp up so that my color, my ink transfers to my paper. And just like Real Red, be careful with this because it does sometimes take a little bit of extra time to dry and actually soak that ink into the paper. So don't do like I typically do, put your arm in it and smudge it, smear it. So give it some time to dry. Don't be in a hurry. No reason to hurry. We've got good time, right? And we're going to take Mossy Meadow, open that. I'm still going to let that dry a minute. And I've got The Season inking that up. And hopefully I am stamping slow enough. I haven't seen anybody say that I'm stamping too fast for those who are crafting along. So that's a good sign. All right, and then I'm going to put this back. Okay. So I'm going to share something with you guys. So this weekend, like I said, we were at the event um, that was hosted by a group out of Raleigh. And they had asked me to speak on a panel. And I was like, so I was surprised, right? I, um, as some of you may know, I have restarted my business as a business instead of just a hobby. And for all of those uh, you who are customers, um, you mean the world to me. And I was asked to speak about how I've transitioned my business from a hobby to a business and kind of some tips. And so that was really special. And um, I was on the panel with two other very special demonstrators um, who are also in North Carolina. And that was so much fun really love that and how we support each other and continue to help each other grow i just love that so much so thank you for everyone who trust me as your demonstrator and follow me uh, it means the world to me so i'm out of uh, dimensional so i'm going to pull out some more there's a pack of three in this and it's only like four dollars and 25 cents so recommend those if you don't already use them just going to pop this up and I'm going to also get my thicker ribbon that i've got hiding over here somewhere here it is on my table and i'm going to flip this over isn't that beautiful i just love that paper so much that really pretty plaid okay so yes it is uh, very fun to be able to do things like that with other demonstrators and team members I had one team member that was able to come one signed up and wasn't able to come but um, she was definitely missed but we um, we love it we love to gather in person and by zoom and just share projects like this it's a lot of fun and just inspiring each other so anyway anyway okay so I'm cutting that off to size getting it where I want it I'm going to push it over a little bit more and then I'm going to add a dimensional to the back here there to hold it also there to hold it if you don't have that you have like the tear and tapes I a lot of times will use tear and tape to um, also hold it in place you just don't take that backing off right so that's a easy little tip and that'll hold your ribbon for you so I'm going to tear off these backs and put this down on our basic white that we have cut out for you. Actually, I already put it down, didn't I? So I don't need that, that's the inside. So let me do this. I'm kind of ahead of myself. 
So we're going to take our mossy meadow, which matches perfectly, and we're just going to put that down. And then for the um, little cherry cobbler pieces, I'm going to do those actually on this. I'm going to take my green glue, I'm going to put one on the bottom and one on the top. Okay, it's just a little dab of glue. And I'm going to have those kind of sticking out. Can you guys see that? Make sure I'm in the camera. It is, Cassie. It's so pretty. Don't forget the ribbon. Exactly. Thank you, Bev. Bev always forgets the ribbon. She always says, I know, I don't want to forget the ribbon. And then she forgets the ribbon. <laughs> It's all good. Nothing is it, nothing is an accident, right? We can fix everything. And that's exactly what we live by. <laughs> so, okay, thank you, Bev. That's a great tip. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna take my Celebrate while that, those two are drying. And I'm going to put my, actually, I'm gonna use them down here. <laughs> that's funny. And, Pop this up, okay, and I'm putting them kind of on the edges because I don't want to interfere with that ribbon. So I'm going to kind of let that feed underneath in the middle. So that's going to be celebrate, right? And then I'm going to pop these guys up as well, like that. We can get those off. You guys like this card? Celebrate the season. Kind of in the middle, right? And then we're going to take our other basic white and it goes right in the middle on the inside here. Just going to glue that down flat. You guys doing okay? Fun, fun. These are quick and easy Christmas cards. Yes, we need Christmas cards. Don't wait until the very last minute, right? That is always a bad idea. Bad, bad idea. So, I'm helping you get ahead of the crazy and get these cards put together and you have the PDF, the tutorial, and you have the replay video to go ahead and do your cards. Okay. I'm going to burnish that really well. I don't think I did that earlier. And then I'm going to put my little sequence on and I'm going to use probably this beautiful bronze again. I think that looks really rich. I love that. And a small one over here. Okay, celebrate the season. You guys like that? Very similar to my first one. All right, so that's card number three. Let's see what else I have in store. The next one, let me see what it actually is. Because I have a couple of other things here. Looking at my tutorial, give me a moment. Oh yes, yeah. so this one is our next one. This is a cute little tag, and it is using the um, these tags here, the greetings of the season. Um, I was just trying to see if I have that sentiment set here very close, and I don't. I was going to show you. Um, it coordinates. Yeah, I do. Here it is. Here it is. It coordinates with this stamp set, and it's all about the holidays. You've got some sentiments, um, some sayings for the inside, as well as different fonts for the new year, for Christmas, happy holidays, um, season's greetings, a to and a from, love and joy for you. So really easy to go ahead and make um, really awesome tags. And this is how I did this one. So it's utilizing this 
I'll show you guys how to do it. It's in my PDF, but um, so it all of these tags actually have this little, let me turn it over, the little hole where you can cut it out um, for the ribbon to go through. But what I, I'm going to bring my paper or, and my die um, cutting machine over here so that you can see. So the way, I'll do it this way. The way that I do it is take your, let me make sure I get paper, some scrap paper. So I've got some, this is probably thick white, but you just take it and you fold it in half, right? I'm gonna burnish this. This is kind of not part of what I was gonna do, but I feel like I need to show you. Um, so you take it and you fold it and can you guys see so you, you you this right here is the fold all right this is really important to make your own tags so you fold it in half whatever paper you want but how I'm going to line this up because all of these have the little holes for the tags so that they actually keep the, the back the bind here is I just barely have it off so that on the opposite side you can see it's not going to cut that top edge okay so it's really important you do want the hole in the in the center and the top but you do not want it to cut the whole thing out so what you get is you run it through okay so I'm my table shaking that's why I have a cutting table but this is what you end up with. I'll get this out of the way. You have it so that it cuts out and leaves. Put that on the floor. It intact, right? Very important to do that. So that is exactly how I did this card, or this tag rather, and it just still captures that fold. So that's how we do it. And then I took my punch, um, just my two and three eighths inch punch here, this one, and you can choose whatever paper that you want. Um, and I chose the really cute candy canes because I thought those were darling. But, let's see, where is it at? Make sure you guys are good. Okay. All right, let's see, where's my candy canes? Where are you candy canes? Well, get it to where it's gonna flip through for me. I'm just gonna use this one. Can't find the candy canes? Find one that works, right? So I'm going to use this and just punch out my circle. The two and three eighths inch works really well and it will actually cover, completely cover that circle. Okay. And it really looks like it was meant for it. So it's kind of cool. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put some glue in that circle on the tag. Okay and then literally just line it up not to cover up that hole all right and then what we're going to do you can add the hearts here that i did on the first one um i've got some other dies here i'm going to do a um probably just do a green let me do the feel like I could do that green. Let me just do the mossy meadow. And we're going to use love on this die. Again, I cut several of these dies because I love them and I can use them on tags or cards or anything. Okay. So we have that, and I'm just going to add this here. Um, here's my dimensionals. Pop that up on two sides. 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my um, green scrap. I have a lot on my table. Here it is. My green scrap and my die that cuts that out. And we are going to stamp this cute little leaf pattern here in the mossy meadow as well. Okay, so we're going to just stamp that and then we're going to die cut that. Is that background paper again you could cut those out you could die cut them out of the paper directly stampin up has it so that you can actually do that it's really nice okay so we've got our piece and we're going to just tuck that under our tag like so let me cut this down a little bit There we go. All right. We're going to add that there. And this one, I actually did the, um, the linen thread. I think I might use this white. Cut some of that off at an angle. I'm going to kind of fold it in, right, and stuff it through the hole. Okay. Any other one come through? Let's see. I have to stick that in. Oh, no, it didn't go through. Sometimes with the holes being small, Kind of improvise, make it go. And there we go. So again, this ribbon is really, I like it because it does a lot and it gives that extra dimension, which is really cool. Okay. Just pull that tight. Like so. And then I'm gonna actually take my linen thread and I'm going to add a little something here. Just to make some contrast. Again, linen thread is awesome. And at the end, it's really curly. Come on now. There we go. And just get it a little trim there. Okay, so that is the tag. And then we're going to add some of these really pretty white. Almost like Adam is little berries. On there. And that is our cute little tag. Okay. So you could easily make several of these. These are super, super easy to go ahead and make. All right. Do you guys like that? So that's that project. And then, let's see what else I have. All right, the next one is going to be this tag. 
tag. And this I die cut from the same exact set. And I am going to use this pretty snowflake paper. Right, and I'm going to use my two and three eighths inch punch once again. Makes it real easy to add a layer. And I love that. So that's what we are doing. I'm going to grab a piece of basic white scrap. Okay. And I'm also going to take my Misty Moonlight ink. Get this here. And we are going to use the Celebrate again. I'm going to load that onto my block for you. Okay, get that stuck there. Just ink it up a couple of times. Again, give it some firm pressure. Oops, I didn't get good ink on it, so we'll redo that one. You can look at it usually and tell. I think I need to re-ink this pad. There we go. Much better image. Okay, so we're going to do that. And then take our snips. And we're actually just going to cut this out just around as though it were a die because there's not a die for this one. So we're just going to kind of cut it and make this smaller. It's easier to manage. And when you're fussy cutting, you want to turn your paper. You know, you don't want to turn your, your scissors. And you can just kind of freely move this how you want to easily go around those words. And it looks just like it was a die cut, which is really kind of cool. Right? So you just literally just keep your paper moving. All right. It ends up being pretty quick. I use, this is thick basic white, so it's a little more stiff. You don't have to use the thick, but it's just what I grabbed. So, okay, so what we're going to do then is we're going to take, I didn't even show you the, the label. This is the label. Isn't that pretty? So we're going to take that and we're going to glue it down. All right. Glue it down here in the center. And then we're going to use our dimensionals. We're going to pop it up to celebrate. And take off the backing. Do you guys like the um, the variants of the in the in the project kit? Or do you prefer mostly cards? I kind of thought it would be fun to do a little bit of both. All right, so I've got this here. I'm going to put that up there. And then I'm going to take the stamp for you. Again, a mossy meadow. Celebrate you. This could be like a winter birthday, it could be a graduation that you put on there, a tag for a gift. This could be anything and again with the snowflakes it could be winter related or you know just kind of whatever you would like so make it your own and you may already have something in mind with somebody that's going to be graduating in the fall or in the the winter right after the semester is over so that would be fun of course everybody loves money right so I've doubled this over you could actually attach this to an envelope. That would be a fun graduation gift. You could even take and put a gift card little pocket for a gift card in the back of here and actually give that to them. That would be fun. 
So I've doubled this, this uh, linen thread over and just threading it through. I think I need some assistance here with this little poker this end. Okay. All right. I'm just going to put it through. Let's see. Let me tie this this time. Okay. There we go. And didn't really leave it long enough to do a double, but I'm going to try. Should have made it only maybe two. And then pull that through. Get one more there. There it is. Okay. The whole idea is to loop it through and then you cut your ends, right? And then you kind of make it like that. So it makes it easier than threading several through. You kind of just do it and tie it. So that is another option. And then we will add our little bling to that. Super fun. I'm gonna celebrate someone. Okay, so there's that project. You guys like that? So fun, so easy. Okay, moving on to the last project that we have, we are going to use a thick basic white. my dimensions out here. All right, so our thick basic white is going to be this. I'm grabbing a full sheet. I'm going to cut it down. And Cutting it in half. And then extend your arm out and you will do the second cut. You have a little bit of extra here. And then you're going to score on the long side. All of your dimensions are there in your PDF. And you just score on those. And then um, this one and then the last one on this side we're going to be making a box okay and on the short side we're scoring just twice all right so then you're done with your cutter you can get that out of your way <laughs> you're funny you're funny Debbie it's just practice right it always just takes practice and then we are going to take our bone folder. Again, this is thick basic white, so it's it's you need to really burnish those score lines, right? And go along all of those edges. And then what I'm going to do is what I call mitering. So I open it back up, right? And I literally am going to just kind of cut those score lines out. So it becomes like a mitering of the what's going to become the flaps. And that really makes it so that your box comes together a lot more easily. Okay? But it's just a sliver, as you can tell. Like I'm, I have them here on the table. It's just a little, little bit. So 
for that one. And then this one I'm going to kind of cut that edge off. This one I'm going to kind of cut that edge off. And then I'm going to miter these two. Okay, now this one, this is going to be like our little flap and we're going to cut that. And again, this is in your PDF that um, you cut those off. All right, and that is your box. That's your box, your basic box, okay? And then what we're going to do is take these flaps and you literally are going to put, I like to use liquid glue. Some people like to use um, Stamp and Seal Plus, right? Just add a little bit of adhesive. You're just going to match those corners up. Match those corners. And you give it like a little hold too because the glue needs a little bit of time to dry. So just literally hold those until they dry. You guys doing okay? Following me? Fun, fun. You're going to do the same thing for these. Okay, you can bend your lid back. But this is a really cute box to give um, any small little gift. It could be a gift card. It could be um, any fun like jewelry or any special small little gift that you have for somebody. Again, graduation, Christmas, birthday, um, something for baby. I don't know. It just could be anything. But this is a really awesome size box and it goes for a lot of different things okay now so i think my sides are pretty firm maybe the front maybe not be as great but so it's something else that a lot of times i would rather cut too little than cut too much right so i'm going to show you when you go to tuck your box in can you see these these this side and this side how it's really not really coming together so what you'll need to do is to take your snips and if you start back here and you just cut towards that corner, all right, and you can open that up, just cut towards that corner, don't cut the corner off, just kind of take that corner, um, take it off there at the corner. There's no right or wrong on how much to cut off, it's just so that your box comes closest together, okay? So I just want to be really, really clear about that. I did mention something in the directions, but it wasn't, you can't really, it, it's easier to show it. Okay. So there is your box it all comes together. It's a nice box. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the label that's in the iconic bundle and we're going to use the mossy meadow and we are going to use our celebrate that we just did and this pad is really juicy okay isn't that pretty nice and bold love that and then we're going to take our cherry cobbler which is also here and a small little tag and we are going to pull the U stamp out, the Y-O-U stamp. Let's see, where did he go? He is right here. So we're going to stamp U and Cherry Cobbler. All right. While we also have our Cherry Cobbler open, we're going to get that little berry. Let's see. There's an outside berry here, an, an outline. This is my scrap. So I'm going to stamp off here and I'm going to, you could either do that in the white or you could do it on the cherry cobbler. Kind of can't really see that, can you? Let's see about the outer edge. Let's just stamp that on cherry cobbler. That looks better. 
So you can either do it on white like this, or you can do it on cherry cobbler ink on cherry cobbler paper. Okay. And then we're going to take our mossy amato, same thing. And we are going to grab our little piece here. Fell down. We're going to use that on a lighter green. And um, going to stamp that onto the old olive. Okay? And then basically just die cut those out. And that's going to be our decoration for get my stamp set or my die set here. Right, so I got this one for that, and then I've got this one for the berries. So I'm going to die cut those back behind you here. berries up. I will be honest about that. I think we got it. Run it through. Okay. Okay. So then we have this, right? And what we're going to do is take our box and we're also going to take that piece of um, old olive and that is going to get cut down. In your description, you have those dimensions and old olive. There we go. Bye. There we go. And then you can also choose to do a um, choose to do a paper, a designer paper, which of course this will be really cute. And this one will be cut to a little bit smaller. So grab your piece that you like. Again, I included the old olive in your in your um, set in your kit, right? So um, the designer paper is going to be cut down, and use your use your measurement here on the on the arm, right? So let's see here there. Okay. We've got that, and that matches well with our old olive. Isn't that pretty? So we're going to glue that down flat. Put that on. Okay. Now, lastly... Take this, and I'm going to dimensional this. I hope you guys have loved this craft along. Kind of makes me conscious to slow down and stamp more slowly, right? But if you guys have questions, nobody's been hollering yet, so I guess, again, I think it's okay, but... Um, there's still, you're going to get a replay as well, so you'll always have access to that, and it never expires, so that is good, and I'm going to pop this Celebrate up, too. I love this label. This is such a pretty shape. Love that. Yes, Debbie, yes, that was kind of a revelation this weekend, wasn't it? We all learn from each other. We'd love to get together for that reason. So good. Okay. All right, so we're almost done with our cute little box. 
Make sure this is all seated down. These berries, I'm going to actually attach them right here. I'm going to give that a little snip. There we go. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of glue here to the edge and kind of have the U hanging off. You could actually stick a dimensional underneath it. I have a half a dimensional here. I may do that with the long side facing down, downward. See like that? See like that? And then right underneath there that way it just gives it a little bit more support not to move whoops I just caved my box in y'all <laughs> oh my goodness all right come on now work with me now here we go so try that again there we go all right, so there is our cute little box. Celebrate you. Do you like that? Isn't that so cute? Where the lid is attached. So that is the last project for this. Craft Along, my very first Craft Along. I'll be having one every month. And um, you are welcome to get your kit ahead of time. Um, again, we put all the projects back that we did. This one, this one, and this one. So we did this one. That one was first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and how about I do it like this? So six different projects in this craft along so so fun i hope you have loved this if you want to take a photo thank you amy thank you debbie so fun so this is the craft along if you would like this in a kit to go you'll get a quarter um pack of the designer paper and um i'll cut all the elements for the card bases for the box you'll get the pdf you'll get the um, video instruction to go back and actually follow through all of the cards again so you'll get that with a $50 order and I will post that link uh, on this video in Facebook as well as it will be on my newsletter and it will be on my YouTube repost so jenscreativestampers.com is my website you can sign up for my newsletter there and you can also follow me on Facebook and on YouTube so, as I promised, let me bring all of my swaps out. I think that'll be super fun to show you guys. I've been dying to see them. I just haven't even had a minute to look at them. So, let me grab them. I have all of my stuff still here in my bag. And, let's see. There we go. I've got all of my stuff. It was all picnic themed. So like we, everybody had their little name tag here. It was like a little picnic basket. It was very cute. Got a bunch of different product and a bunch of goodies from Tracy and her team. All right, let me just get these semi-organized here. Okay. Pull these off the side okay so this was a simple stamping and I'm going to try and show you each person that made each one of these okay this is Jeria Coleman this was her card simple stamping I love the vanilla and the mossy meadow and this is using um, spotlight on nature and one of our really pretty up is it you oh, i can't remember the stamp set this one's from this um bible verse 
love it though. I have it, I'm just looking for it. So anyway, that was the first one. Again, these are cards that would be super easy to recreate. This one was my card. And again, I focused on the very vanilla, made mine a little fun fold with this beautiful satin ribbon. And I love this designer paper and you just flip it up here and then that's where you write your message. But it's a quarter sheet of cardstock and that really pretty gold, I just love that. Okay. This one is from Diane Cook, C-U-C. She lives in Clayton, North Carolina. And we keep her name with her card. And this was hers. And she used the real pretty flowers and the um, petunia pop. Don't you love that color? So pretty. Thank you for that card, Diane. And this one is from Carolyn Lowry. She did a happy birthday, again, in Petunia Pop in black. Very easy. Hoping you have the best day ever. That stamp is from the, um, the bird, the birdhouse die, or the birdhouse stamp set. This one is from Nanette. Got to meet Nanette this weekend. Very sweet person. And she did a really pretty, it looks like, um, uh, what is this, Summer Splash in black with a black mat behind there. And then you open it up from the bottom. May all your wishes come true. So thank you, Nanette. That's nice. This one is from, oops, I dropped the name. See. This one is from Autumn Blake. Oh, fun. Thank you, Autumn. This is a really pretty card. Faith is sh being sure of what we cannot see. So, as you see, she didn't even do any um, layers on that. So, how simple and awesome is that? Thank you, Autumn. And then, let's see what else. I've got this one. This is Deb Andreessen, one of my sweet friends. And she did, love this, she did the peacock and she used the unbounded love and she popped up the thanks. Isn't that pretty? I can't thank you enough. Thanks, Deb. Love that. And then Dinah Charland, uh, she made this one. And this is fun, isn't that? That the squares and just putting it on an angle it says enjoy your day. That's fun. And that's in the Granny Apple Green. And that is our, um, the green background is actually using our designer series paper, the six by six. Okay, so those are the simple stamping. And then probably the most popular one was a swap to die for. And, um, a lot of people got in on this one. Um, so we had several groups. This is from Carol Blangia. Blangia. She lives in Ernal, North Carolina. She's got a gorgeous card, y'all. Look at that. This uses that really pretty Mediterranean blooms. And um, she even step, stamped the inside, just checking in. It's gorgeous. This, I love this stamp set so much, but it doesn't have a name. Who did it? Let's see. Hmm. Isn't that darling? So stinking cute. The mailbox with the wood grain in it. A little bit of grass down here with the postage stamp. It's actually on the postage die. And she used the stamp here for the postage, like the, you know, the little hearts, it says made with love, sent with love. Isn't that fun? I don't know who this came from. It doesn't have a name. Stinking cute card. Love that. All right. This one is from Bev Stewart. And she did the beautiful roses. And then she went ahead and popped this one out and then um, blended it. So pretty. 
Oh, I love this. This is so fun. This one came from Robin Purdom. Thank you, Robin. Love your card. Isn't this darling? So fun. Those are my favorite colors, too. Love that, Robin. This one's Thinking of You. This came from Cheryl McCaskill. I love that. It's a fun fold. You fold it over, and it's the cutout of this side. And then you can add your DSP and whatever you want on the front. I love that. She even gave the dimensions and all the things she did with that. Thank you. That is very pretty. Oh my goodness, I love this one too. So this one, I'll take it out of the packaging. Um, so this is oh, Allison Brown. So pretty. What a beautiful card. And this one, actually, let's see. Does it come out? Oh no, it just... Oh, so amazing. Look at her card. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, this is great. Love. This is why we love swaps, right? We just make all of these and get many ideas back. This is fabulous. Thank you, Allison. Great card. All right. And then this one, oh, this is pulling at my heartstrings. This is Carol Lewis. Look at that one. That uses the same designer paper. Let me take it out. This is a... Carol Lewis. She's in Bessemer City, North Carolina. Isn't that pretty? She heat embossed the season's greetings. She cut that out of the DSP. The, the, this is the um, vellum. And then this was cut out, I think, of the paper. And then she did a dye behind that even with the wood grain paper. And then here's the inside. Ooh, ah, don't you love that? I just love that. Thank you so much, Carol. That's beautiful. All right. And then we have this one here this is from Beth Strasser this is pretty uses our new peach pie isn't that pretty mm -hmm. love that thank you and I love some bling isn't that pretty this is from Deb Andreessen thank you Deb so fun Oh, and this is from, it says Team Card. Let's see. Hmm. This one is from Diane Cuck again. Isn't that fun? She used the same set. Love that. And then the ribbon. So pretty. Ooh, this is pretty. So this one is from Autumn Blake. Look at that. So she went ahead and did this like pinwheel, and then she ran it through the eyelet embossing folder and layered it with the um this is the um what do you call it zinnia paper gosh that's pretty thank you autumn great job that's really nice oh this is so pretty this is a birthday card and it uses that like faux lattice i think do you call it that um design here and this is from giselle Falls. So beautiful. Love that card. All right, my friends, this is all of my cards that I have. Let me see if I can bring you back up. Let's see. All right, so here we are again. Thank you so much for joining. I would love to send you the kit. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of these awesome swaps that I got. And hopefully one of those inspires you. I will be sharing these two on my, um, my newsletter so that you can get a closer look on them. And um, again, you can order the um, card class all this week. So any order that's 50 or more using the host code that I post will get a free card kit in the mail. So thank you for joining live. I hope you all love the craft along. And I look forward to sharing the next one with you where you can sign up for that as well. Have an awesome week. Thank you for supporting me and have a great night. Bye.